Now, if you love Papa as much as I do, can you celebrate Papa? Amen. So, um, the Bible says, be not drunk with wine wherein it is excess. It says, but be filled with the Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Ghost descended, people gathered and they said, these men are drunk. Wow, I love and Peter said, we are not drunk as you suppose. It means that we are drunk, but not with the kind of wine that you think. So we know that Pastor Jerry is a real drunkard because what he drinks is stronger than alcohol. Ukabantes Keminakai. So today we're going to be listening to a piece titled Not Gold or Not Hennessy, Not Hennekin, Not Vodka, but Godka. Akapandas Kimante, Uku Prandas Kabaila Namaita. Warning. This liquid is rated supernatural. Lovely. For the composition of its content is not scripturally recommended for human consumption, so oh. drinkers' discretion is thoroughly advised. And you may think that you have tasted the best of wine and finest of spirit or experienced the greatest of highs and crossed the limits of alcohol, but you are only human until you have tasted the bowls of the spirit. And you are no drunkard until, like PJ, you begin to ooze of secret waters. So, drinkers' discretion is thoroughly advised. Pastor Jerry was born human. Iniquity was his origin of formation until once upon a midnight, the star led him to the legend whose blood is liquor. He loves to stupor. Took more than a bullet to get him high. Took the devil to Smirnoff. And in one magic moment, in victory, shout, he lost mortality when his spirit broke out. He has tasted wine. I do not speak of the likes of Gouda. This is the ultimate. A certain brand of Judah. Not made for mortal tongues, for humans can hardly tolerate strong drink. How much more God can I? I do not tell of the content of bottles, no. Divinities do not drink from bottles like mortals. For bottles cannot contain burning fire. So he drinks from portals. With buckets of joy, he draws from bottomless wells of epignosis. And in cups of rema, he makes toast from the depth of exegesis. He has drunk the blood bowls and swallowed life after death. He has tasted the fires move and drunk the sound of heaven, touching earth. What language do you speak? And to what tribe do you belong? He he does not belong to a physical country or a natural region. He he belongs to the blood tribe, a descendant of the Zion nation. For though he is in this world a representative of a country and a flag, he's a citizen of heaven. His humanity is a camouflage for without these costumes of flesh and bones, he will be of little use to this abode. He is a man of burning lips and an unknown tongue. He communicates in songs, hymns as a kupai itai kebrento. Copiler. He communicates in songs, hymns, and spiritual sounds. His species was created in Genesis 2, recreated in Galatians 2, and customized in the Acts of Apostles 2. He is neither French nor German, English or American, Igbo or Yoruba. He is supernatural, the Trinity in a human container. We hail from the Avatar dynasty of heavy drinkers. Graham, Idahosa, Wigglesworth, Jerry Eze, a few of the fathers of faith. An avatar he is. He's a preserver of the universe, a master of time. A light of God, a sound of time he is. Neither alcoholic nor human. He is supernatural and he drinks. And he drinks unrestricted and without limit. With boundless capacity for the spirit he drinks with stammering lips and another tongue shameless audacity reckless abandon he drinks and he gets ultra high for the spirit is the power station he is a transmission line so he drinks to ignite and hard as it may try the world can never boast of stupor like him for the lord is his bartender elohim fills his cup and what they call booze he calls the spirit and what they call groove he calls fellowship and as he oozes of the bulls of life he renders death of no use it's no news that darkness takes a flight to the fuse of his light so he drinks fire to a line he is high you know the silly clear eye have you shocked Adonai have you shocked Adonai 
Adonai. And if you've ever been to the altar of fire, no jokes, you go no say in head the torch. But once upon a busy morning, he postponed the sunset. He made a mockery of the doctor's report. And when the doctor saw fibroid, he saw a fine boy. He, he is never stranded, never broke. He heals the sick. He raises the dead. He gathers gold like dust. He heals the sick. He gathers gold like dust. And when you see a river, he just might see a bank. And what you call tilapia, he just would call Kashi as he. He is neither alcoholic nor human. He's naturally supernatural, proudly bloody. He drinks the most high God. He eats his body. And you may think that you have tasted the best of wine and finest of spirits or experienced the greatest of highs and crossed the limits of alcohol. But you are only human until you have tasted the booze of the spirit. And you are not a drunkard until like PJ, you begin to ooze of secret waters for while the consumption of counterfeit liquor, climasticism, embarrassing encounters with gutters, his consumption of the spirit has triggered a combustion in the spirit, a by ite, and the eruption of living water so ukamentai, ayakabila katai, ayakobembe, once upon a time, in a city, in Abia state, you know before there is an eruption there must be a drinking, before there is a flowing there must be a drinking, ukapai, and before you knew him, the spirit the spirit was brooding on him. The spirit was marinating him. The Akubai, because his season of manifestation came. And on the 30th day of March in 2020, when NSPPD was birthed, Ukabelaita, Akubenataita, as a result of that brooding in the cave of Adulam, nations began to drink. Akubelatata, Abya is drinking, Uyo is drinking, Oweri is drinking, Abuja is drinking, Lagos is drinking UK has drunk on the 2nd of September USA is about to drink Uka bite Okopela Katin Takapampo Ukai Kai Parasute be not drunk with wine wherein it is excess but like PJ become an authentic drunkard making tremendous power available and with vodka drinking responsibly is completely irresponsible for you can drink to stupor when the spirit is your liquor and this liquid is rated supernatural for the composition of its content is not scripturally recommended for human consumption so drinkers discretion is thoroughly advised see daddy happy birthday I don't know how to say it daddy happy birthday I don't know how to say it but how do I say happy birthday to a man of the spirit except in the language of the spirit so this is me saying happy birthday ukapante marute ikapai rebida kaite bento skopela akubra itai ben ukamante aita pariakatai I love you daddy happy birthday sir happy birthday daddy